Once you've killed the three bosses and placed their souls into their respective statues, talk to the core. It will imbue you with a power that can let you open the wall. Now go back to the wall and this time it will glow when you approach it. Place your hand on it by interacting with it and the wall will collapse, leaving nothing behind except for some dirt ground. You can bridge across or find a dirt path that will take you to the other side. And if you're lucky enough, you would find the Ezios Wilderness. If not, you would find another wall. This was the greatest bamboozer we faced, and I'm sure for many as well. You will want to go back to the core and speak to it again. This time, it will tell you where the Titan is located. This will also lead you straight into the Ezios Wilderness. If you go to the Hive Mother statue, you can craft the ancient hologram pod for 10 ancient gemstones and 10 mechanical parts. Simply place it down and a spirit merchant will appear. You can give it materials to receive 2 items from it. It's basically a crafting table. You will notice that you can craft the Ezio scanner and it works similarly to the previous scanners you used to find Gorm and the Hive Mother. However, you will need 10 ancient feathers. You can get ancient feathers from killing mobs in the wilderness or finding one of these on the ground. It looks like an orange stick placed diagonally on the ground you simply need to break it with a pickaxe and you will get an ancient feather. It can also appear in different variants as shown here. Now that you know what you're looking for, getting 10 feathers is easy. With the required materials, you can now craft the scanner. Use it like you did before and Ezios will show up on the map. I highly suggest going into the fight blind as it's a fairly easy boss once you understand the mechanics. If anything I would recommend you to do, it's to bring a bed so that you can set your spawn near it. Lastly, remember the second line the call said? Ezios likes shiny things. Wasn't there two items you can craft at the spirit merchant again? That's all for this video. Do subscribe if you want more Callkeeper content. Thank you for watching and see you soon.